Well, hello YouTube. This is just a quick little update. If everybody knows me, they know I hate spinners. But I'm sitting here in sort of amazement. These are Finor Lethal 40s. These are the four spinning reels that I have. There you go. Take a good look. Finor LT40. The only thing I don't like about them is I had to run damn near 40 pound braid on here that's all bleached out because I remember it getting a lot of loopity dupes. I don't know what you call them in the spinning world and I really don't care because they're loopity dupes to me. When I was running lighter braid, like 20 is what I wanted to run on these and it must be the spool configuration here. When I bought each one of these, I think they were tax tag and title to the door for like $74.99. Or even $68 it might have been. The f it's kind of ringing a bell that it was maybe in the 60s. I'll be honest with you. I have never done any maintenance to these. Never. <laughs> I've, I did my, what I refer to as charterizing them. When I take them out of the box, just like all my other reels, I'll break them down and I will personally put a little more lube in certain key areas than I than you would normally think of. All right? Just because they're going to be worked hard, they're going to possibly put up wet, and they're going to be beat, and they're going to be in just any old buddy's hands, okay? On my boat, which is, if you don't know, I have a charter boat, okay? So I've been using these. I'm just saying that this reel in my customer's hands has been beat to a pulp, okay? I mean, this line is bright yellow underneath. I don't even change the braid. We just keep on trucking, you know. But here I am sitting here at my workbench. And I am looking at these reels, kind of going over them, lubing them. I don't know where to lube a spinner. I know the biggest factor is, is the roller right there. I know that's a big factor. And you know what? I go in here and I back the screw off. I undo the bale. And this is like a, how would you say it? This is like a rotor on a brake on a car. You know, it's like a rotor sitting on top of a bearing so it's quite shielded and I was amazed that on this side right here like many of the screws even on these Finors had a very thin like uh, washer to keep salt out and I'm looking at this and looking at I'm I'm taking I'm putting on my damn reading glasses my broken old reading glasses and I'm looking in here and I'm going does this thing even spin well you know I take it apart it's dirty but I mean the thing is perfect there's nothing wrong with it the bearing psh, so I give it a little lube you know I'll even show you here let's take this off I mean, I'm not saying anything. I'm not like recommending these. I'm just telling you. I'm not a spinner guy. I could care less than I already do about spinners. But I'm amazed at this spinner compared to other ones I've had that were just a corrosion ball after, let's say, a year. And I mean, these are like... Beat the hell out of them. 
throw them back in the rod rack at the end of the day because, you know, they're not sweethearts to me. I have them because I have to have them. So here's what I did. If you can see, let's start with the knob here. I took, see this, it's got like a, a soft washer. Now, maybe other spinners have this. I'm just ignorant of the fact. All right. And what I did is I just greased the hell out of this. Like five years ago. I mean, I could clean it up a little bit now, but, you know, like, do I even need to? And I think I put Cal's drag grease. I think I just smushed it all over there. And then I did the same thing. I just wiped it all in there with grease. Now, this one, I've not done anything to. Nothing. There's the bearings, folks. Right there. There's some black oily stuff. Black oily stuff. Look at, look in that reel. It is perfectly clean. Do you see any monster corrosion on this thing? I don't. And I'm an official corrosion spotter. I mean, look at that. I'm sort of amazed. And I'm I'm not like a spinner fan or a, fa a Finor fan. Quantum, whatever. I mean, if it's good enough for KV Day, it probably is good enough for DES. <laughs> KV Day. You don't know who KVD? Kevin Van Dam. He's Mr. Quantum. Quantum Fenor. It's all the same company. I mean, look at that. I don't have to do them bearings. Double stacked bearings right there. Just a sputter. Just a smooth. I've done nothing to these in five or so years. I'm going to put a little lube in all the usual places, I guess. And what I do is... I mean, I don't even know if you're supposed to. But uh, this thing is probably... Uh, no, it's not seized on there. Because I don't even want to take this... I don't want to mess with the handle. I know how easy these are. You, you know, you go in here. I'm going to take a little bit of lube. I'm going to just put a few drops down in there. I don't know, I guess. On the back side... I'm going to put this cap back on. Every once in a while, I get somebody who has to change the handle because they're all... All right, so that's all I'm going to do. And what? let's see, what else did I do this reel? I did, I did two already. All I'm doing is I was backing out the screws. There's a possibility that even these screws... Yes, I don't think you can see it. I don't know if I can show you or not. There's... A little waterproof kind of washer on every screw to keep it. Now, after five or six years, can you just back out your screws on, a, I don't know, pick a reel? $74, $68. I'm sure every, everything is through the roof now. But, I mean, look at that. What I was going to do is I was thinking, okay, I'm going to have to wrench these, right? I'm going to have to wrench the hell out of these. I'm going to strip the screws, but they're perfectly fine. All the screws are perfectly fine. I'm just, I'm not even taking them out. I'm just seeing if they're stuck. It's an old craftsman. But you know what? It is made in the USA. So you know what? That's the reason I use it. So I don't even know what else to do with it. I was going to, you know, over here in the old lever or whatever you call this. We're going to put a little dab of do you right in there. We're going to put a little dab of do you right there on the old handle. Okay, I don't think that's ball bearing, but it could be. That could be ball bearing. Maybe I'll put a little dab of do you on the... Right there on the bearings. But is that amazing or what? It's not very often that you can neglect something in salt water 
for five years. I'm just going to say five years because I'm not even sure. Totally neglected. I mean, like I said, I haven't even put on a new line because it's just, these just keep working. See, another thing I always like about reels, and this is the reason why I like Daiwa too. I like the ticking sound. These things have smooth drags. They pulled in bull reds, sharks, trout, sheep's head, keeper redfish, moderately sized redfish, you know, 12 pounds, 10 pounds. And I don't have to get new ones. Now let's see if it says where they're made. They're probably a China reel. Yeah, I believe it is. I believe it says China right there. Of course it's China. Everything's China. That's why the tackle industry is getting their ass kicked right now. Because not a damn thing is made. I go to Academy Sports. They don't even have anything. They might as well close the doors or go Academy Sports. Woman's clothing store. That's like a total waste of time. So uh, that's all I wanted to say. As an anti-spinite, I'm amazed. Now watch, they'll break tomorrow or something, but <laughs> um, they've been dropped. You know, usually these, these snap off sometimes on cheap reels. So, I mean, if you're looking for something that's, and you're not really knowing what, these have really held up and I couldn't believe this bearing here. I popped all this out, took this screw off the back here. I'm going to tighten it back up a little bit. That's running just fine. I thought that thing would be full of salt and, you know, it wouldn't even turn the bearing in there. So, there you go. That's, that's it. This is Captain Dave Sport Fishing, Jacksonville, Florida. YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. We're just doing a little chit-chat here about a fin or, what's it called again? A Fenor LT-40. Is it a lethal? Yeah. It says lethal right there. Seven bearings. I don't know where they're all hidden. I guess there's one. There was two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I don't know. All right. So there you go. If you were uh, wondering about these, which I'm sure these ain't the most popular spinner reel in the world, but they are for somebody like me, so I can afford four of them. And I thought, by just the looks of them, that they could take a beating, and they have. So I'm surprised. Give it a thumbs up. If you learned anything, it's all about that YouTube algorithm. You know, Chinese social credit score. I'll see you on the next one.